Wallahi, they worship Iblis himself personally. And what does he do for them in return? He makes them feel the power. They feel it. And he can toss and turn people who are standing in front of them just because they have sacrificed for him. So he gives them a power. And they become powerful, solid people, strong. They can control your mind because there is the life of the unseen that they have sacrificed for. So they will murder people and spill blood in order to appease the devil so that they can become people who can control. Most of the singers, 99% of the pop stars that you have out there belong to this category. They all sacrifice doves backstage. They all engage in satanic behavior. They all belong to a cult. And all of them are promoting immorality. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. Their names are not fit to be mentioned in the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but we know who they are. And if you take a look at the way they clothe themselves, they are sucking in our children and they are sucking in some of us in an unbelievable way. And we still want to listen to all that music and play it in our cars, not realizing this is with the assistance of Iblis himself. And he is controlling our minds and we appease ourselves by saying the lyrics are good. Na'udhu billah. Allah safeguard us. Those lyrics for your information are becoming dirtier and filthier and more satanic as days pass and we are still allowing it to go through our ears. So imagine what will go through the ears of our children and they will say, Dad, you're living in the 60s.